In the past two decades, Vietnam's social assistance system has become broader in terms of coverage and level of benefits, contributing to improve the welfare of people, especially the most vulnerable, including the elderly, the poor, people with disabilities, especially single parents with children and orphans. However, several challenges still exist, and there is considerable room to improve how effectively it supports vulnerable families, and in particular, women and girls. Yet, despite Vietnam's commitment to international agreements and gender equi equity and equality, and the existence of legally established gender mainstreaming mechanisms, the integration of gender into social assistance policies is still limited in relation to its framing and objectives. Identification of risk and vulnerabilities, specific design and implementation measures, and monitoring and accountability. There is still limited, uh, limitations in obtaining sex disaggregate data and conducting gender-focused research, largely due to a lack of demand or awareness for gender analysis. With ongoing reforms and a shift towards digital transformation, it's crucial to establish a digital beneficiary registry and management information system that includes sex disaggregated data. Developing a monitoring and evaluation framework for social assistance with gender sensitive indicators is also essential. Stakeholders' capacity regarding gender for social assistance. The limited capacity of stakeholders may hinder the integration of gender considerations into the policy development process. And there is a need to enhance their capacity to ensure gender responsiveness across all aspects of social protection, relevant laws, policies, and monitoring and evaluation.